you know, um, I'm not looking. I'm not looking for nothing, man. I'm I'm good. I would. I do want to get this book. I do want to get you know some of my stories out. Some of my stories, and I got a lot of them out there. But I got some that you know that I do want to put in the book and uh, make you go get it. <laughs> you know, um, and that's about it. Can't wait to them get published, man. Oh, okay, Paul uh, Hurley, senior. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Black or brown? Why Puff wasn't that? You gotta ask Puff why he wasn't at the name in a big street. They asked me why Puff wasn't at in the, at, at the ceremony yesterday. He was too busy. <laughs> I was surprised D Rock was there. <laughs> Derek Brewer. You say it's unreal? Yo, Derek, like I told everybody, you know, I said I graduated from college, but I wasn't smart. I just had a great memory. <laughs> I used to I used to take the studies and they'll tell us what we need to study. And I used to write it at least 10 times because when you write, you remember what you write. You remember what you have written. So I. Whatever lesson, whatever I do, I just write it over, over and again. They were like, yo, why are you writing that shit so much, man? I said, because you remember it. And that's how I pass a lot of my classes, through memory, through memorization. Caesar Caesar said, the warrior's going down. You better not talk about that to my man, Casimillion. Ka He's out there in Canada. You know what I'm saying? I said, you too, Kaz? <laughs> he said, yo, that shit is too old, Gene. Ain't nobody going to remember that shit. Ain't nobody going to know about that shit. I said, y'all too? Y'all too, Brute? He said, yo, what's that? I said, that's back in Caesar. You too, Brutus, when you stabbing them. All right? Tatiana asked me what's my favorite color. I think my favorite color is I like the earth tones. You know what I'm saying? I love brown, beiges, and stuff like that. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. I want to address this to the guys out there, man, for Father's Day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and the young ladies who sometimes say that, oh, I'm the mother and the father. Don't raise your, your kids like that. You know, if the father ain't around, you just the mother. You understand? And, you know, it's all right to be raised by a single parent. You know what I'm saying? Give your kids what they need. You understand? Just hope that there may be an uncle or brother or a family member or you get a good dude to come in your life and say that, you know, he's going to raise your child as it, it, as it was his. But don't ever get into a situation where you're thinking that or you say that I'm the mother and the father because you could never be the father. You understand? So I, I hope that, you know, you don't feel offended about what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Be the greatest woman and the greatest mother that you can be. And that kid going to grow up all right. He going to be just fine. You understand? Guide him right and make sure that he stay in his lane. That's what the problem with our folks is right now. They not making sure our kids stay in their lane. You know what I'm saying? It's all right to be stern with your child. Stay in your lane because it's going to be a, it's going to be a time where they're going to be able to move on in their life and do whatever they want to do. But why are you with me and under your my roof? You know, a C is unacceptable. I told my girl, you, you can't bring no C in my house. If you're doing C work, I'm going to see you soon because my whole thing about it is, is that we're going to find you a tutor. We're going to find somebody to bring that up and make sure that you're doing the right thing because all you got to do right now when you're at that age is to go to school. You brothers who out there and you got these kids, man, yo, if you got one kid, you need, okay, one job is cool. If you got two kids, you might need two jobs. 
it's all right to go from one job to the other because they grow up so fast, man. And listen, I don't have them around here no more. You know what I'm saying? And all I did when I was out there, I picked up a little weight. You know what I'm saying? I'm lost a little sleep, but I'm catching up on it now. But what I'm just trying to tell you guys, do what you're supposed to do. Big homie 334, what's good with you, boy? Thanks for that super chat. So, brothers, what I'm saying to you guys out there, be the best father you could be. You understand? Because today you look at your child as a little boy or a little girl. Tomorrow you're going to look at them as a grown woman or a grown man. And make sure you can look them out of eye and they know that you did the best that you could for them. Because once they know that and, and, and once you have that, don't nothing suffice for that love, man. You ain't hiding, you ain't ducking, you ain't hiding, you smiling. When you see them, it's a glow. Give them all that you can give them, man. You know, the jury, all the shit that they think that we make, that we that they make us think that's important. Bruh, did you know back in the day that black pepper and spices was just as much as gold? They was trading spices for gold. They was trading gold for spices, black pepper and all that shit like that, herbs. So they make this shit important. If they if they if they go out there on the market and they say, uh, 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 um, coal is the new commodity, and all of them put that shit up, that's what's gonna be the new commodity, man. That gold and, 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 and those diamonds and all that shit like that, yeah, they good to have and everything. But before you do all that shit, make sure you take care of your kids. Make sure your business is in order. I'm going to tell you just right here, and this is how I, you know, I live, and this is what I do. You figure out your bills each month. If your bills is $2,500, just say $2,000 a month. If that's your monthly bills, make sure you save $12,000 before you spend a dime on yourself. You have six times what you need in case there's an emergency or something happened. You have six times that. Put that money away before you spend a dime on yourself. Then after you got that money away, see, can you do it again? The nigga ain't gonna tell me how to spend my money. Fuck all that bullshit. She, <laughs> I'm not just trying. I'm just trying to give you a jewel, man. Where we at? Jay Leezy, what's up out there in Miami? Palm trees and everything. Vasquez family. Appreciate you. Henry Farrell Jr. All right. You leaving me, Mr. Groom, out there in Germany? Yeah, let me see what's happening up here. Rose Pasquale. Yo, I got another shout out. Oh, to Eric Pacheco. He do that neutral life shit. I seen them um at the uh 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 neutral life place. I was getting the teas and everything um over there. And uh brother just was just just when you see a good brother, he was telling yo, Gene, you need to do this, you need to do that. You know, this will help you. He say, yo, keep my number down. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I'll help you, you know, uh, if you if you need some guidance and what you want to do, trying to lose weight and everything like that. Yo, this is this is what's up. And I just had just met that brother. He said, yo, he watched the show and everything like that. And I just wanted to let him know he's with the herbal life stuff. 
you know, he does the herbal life coaching and the brother know his business. His name, you can probably go on YouTube. He got some kind of channel. His, uh, his name is um, uh, Eric Pacheco with the herbal life. Go look him up, man. And he told me what I was doing was right. I said, yo, I, I've came down. I came down. I'm down to 315 right now. You know, I tell you, I'm trying to get to 300, you know, before my birthday in October. I want to be pimp size. <laughs> Miss J, what's up with you, girl? Thank you for working, putting it in. Mike uh, Graveno, what's up with you, boy? You know, something's wrong with my uh, phone. I don't even know what's happening. But it is what it is. My darling, my man, uh, Casamillion, he'll let me know. My people, Nina is watching. Oh, Miss Linda Green. Thank you for the Father's Day PayPal. Appreciate that, Miss Green. That's Big Gene 52. Thank you, Miss Green. That was lovely. I appreciate that. For the Father's Day PayPal. And who's this up here? Soulful Butterfly 70. What'd you say? Okay, yeah, I, I seen that. You said you was hooked on the channel. I appreciate you, my mind. Thank you for the super chat. All right, so listen here. The 30 pieces of silver. We know what that correlation is. That's Judas telling, you know, giving that, you know, taking that, you know, to point out Jesus. You got these guys in this industry right now. You got to understand what happened. This is what they do. I want all the ladies to step away because I'm not going to get graphic, but I'm going to tell you what I know and I'm going to tell you what they do. All right. They bring your rapper's favorite rapper, your favorite rapper to these parties. A lot of times they have security staying outside the door. You understand? Unless it's a situation. Or they'll have security watching the door. You understand? But then I had a girlfriend who was a part of this party one time. And I used to hold her money for her. She was in Vibe magazine as a... Uh, uh, she was saying that she was a hip hop mistress and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? And they put it in Vibe magazine back in the 90s or, or close to early 2000s, something like that. And I was shocking that she did it because, you know, a lot of person, you understand, that y'all don't think that be a part of situations and be a part of thing. You understand? And y'all wouldn't believe if I come out and say something. Y'all be like, oh, man, Gene, like, why you have to say that? Why you have to do that? You understand? But if you're going to be truthful about shit, you're going to be truthful about shit. You understand? And then if I go to talk about and, and if I say something and you don't catch it, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm going to put paperwork on all you motherfuckers, you know, and you don't catch what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Because they behind the door doing their thing. And or they'd have slept with one of your friends who was out there working and doing something like that, you'd be like, oh shit, wow. Some of y'all might catch it and some of y'all might not. But this is what they do. Ladies, let me, let me see. I don't want to see them. Ladies, they, they hung up. Yo, fellas, how the ladies hung up? You think ain't that many ladies in here? They hung up? They 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 went to you they went to someplace else. Okay, all right. So fellas, this is what they do. They bring them to the parties. They may have one or two there at a time. They don't have a lot of them there. 
they be private parties and everything. You know, they getting high, they, 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 they smoking, they drinking, they having a good time. You know what I'm saying? Somebody might say, all oh, y'all get naked, everybody jump in the pool and everything like that, the whole nine yards. They get one of them fine-ass models or one of those girls, and they, they get the kissing, rubbing on the guy and everything like that, and they go down on them. And while they going down on them, and the dudes got their eyes closed and all what you call like that, they like, oh yeah, yeah, you like that, you like that. Let me taste it, and it be one of those, those fun boys. Then when they open their eyes, they realize dude is right there with a girl at the same time, and both of them are blowing them. Now he didn't got caught out there. He got one of them fun boys on him. Now, what do he do? Do he get ugly, call his security that's on the other side of the door peeking or something like that? Or do he, or the security in there, or who then slip through the cuts and all like that? Do we do that? He just hope that he never tell. But the nigga be like, yo, wow. No wonder he picking up butt plugs. Yo. Yo, fellas, uh uh Jay, y'all tell the ladies they can come back in right now. So, you know, you know, I'm done with that. Yeah. Ladies, we just had to step away and I had to tell the fella something, you know, so because we didn't want to disrespect y'all or nothing like that. You know, I didn't want to put it out like that to the ladies. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of y'all probably know a lot more than I do, but that's what it is. Leah Marie. I did not say that. See, this is how people hear the wrong thing. Lil Marie say, okay, you just said that if your rent is $1,200, but that way before you spend money on yourself and do the same thing next month, you, how are you winning? Huh? Lil Marie, I said this. If your bills are $2,000, a month. Before you start spending money on yourself, you need to save six times that. You need to save six times that before you start spending money on yourself. Baby, you got enough clothes. You got enough shoes. You understand? You got enough. You got you got a coat. We, yo, we are some of, you, you know how we are black. We black people got to dress on every day of the week. You got to dress every day of the week, have something fly on. It don't mean nothing, baby. You understand? I got a whole lot of fly shit. But I learned like that. I said, yo, man, listen, I'm not buying nothing else. This shit right here. This shit is old as Methuselah. You know what I'm saying? This shit was FUBU. I didn't fuck with FUBU. You understand? And I put a patch over right here, and I put a patch on the on 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 on, on the shorts. Let me raise it up. On the shorts right there. Over the FUBU shit. Fuck that. It, you know, I stopped fucking with them when they 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 switched on us. He got on the news and it used to be uh, uh, for us, by us. When he got on the news and got in, in the white media, he said, for you, by you. Yeah. Changed the whole thing up. It was for us, by us. Now I got for you, by you. Who does that?
Thank you for going to my cash app. That's Big Gene 52. Appreciate that cash app. All right. Greenmont Avenue. Great work, Big Gene. Thank you, sir. Yo, I, <laughs> Leah, I was just I was just joking with you, mom. But just you just save your money, man. You 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 know it's gonna be a lot of rainy days out here, man. These people ain't playing. Yo, this is the first time since I've been working that I had to pay. I had to pay three thousand dollars in taxes. Didn't get a dime back. And my social security credits is crazy. Where are we at right here? Uh, Randy SoCal, Puffy's paying the right OGs to live in Cali. That's it. Without that, he wouldn't have been real. Most West Coast people don't like Puffy. And most East Coast cats just being honest. JC said he don't put past nothing past nobody. And you shouldn't. Nah, I don't tell a I don't tell a man how to f his wife or spend his money. That's the, that yeah, that's my slogan. I didn't tell you how to spend your money. I just told a person like, yo, listen to me. If you want to be right and you want to hold something, save first. But if you want to spend all your money, hey, listen here. I ain't mad at you. Spend all your money. 